Hey guys, Lava Grant here. Welcome back to Doki Doki Literature Club. We're about to check out Natsuki's poem here. So, uh, let's get going. Well, anyway, I guess I need to show you mine. Not that you'll like it. Eagles can fly, monkeys can climb, crickets can leap, horses can race, owls can seek. Cheetahs can run, eagles can fly, people can try, but that's about it. <laughs> well, <laughs> yeah, I told you that you weren't going to like it, but I do like it. See? <laughs> I like it. What? Just be honest. I am. Why are you so convinced that I wouldn't like it? Well, because everyone in high school thinks that writing has to be all sophisticated and stuff, so people don't even take my writing seriously. But isn't the point of poems for people to express themselves? Your writing style wouldn't make your message any less valid. Yes, exactly. I like when it's easy to read, but it hits you hard. Like in this poem. Seeing everyone around you do great things can be really disheartening. So I decided to write about it. Yep, I understand. But the other nice thing about simple writing is that it puts more weight on the wordplay. Like I set up for a rhyme at the end, but then made it fall flat on purpose. It helps bring out the feeling in the last line. So you did. I guess more went into it than I realized. That's what it means to be a pro. I'm glad you learned something. Didn't expect that from the youngest one here, did you? Yeah, guess not. I decided to humor her with that last comment. <laughs> I don't really care how old everyone is, but if Natsuki is feeling proud, then I won't take that away from her. Who should I show it next? Uh, let's do Yuri next. Hmm. Yuri stares at the poem. A minute passes, more than enough time for her to finish reading. Um... Oh! S sorry I forgot to start speaking. <laughs> uh, um... It's fine, don't force yourself. I'm not. I just need to put my thoughts into words. Hold on. Okay. This is your first time writing a poem, right? Uh, yeah, <laughs> it's gonna be fucking horrible. <laughs> Why do you ask? I'm just making sure. <laughs> I guess that it might be after reading through it. <laughs> ah, so it's that bad. No! Did I just raise my voice? Uh, I'm sorry. Yuri buries her face in her hands. I couldn't help but notice that she's been s that it's been several minutes and we really haven't gotten anywhere. It may take Yuri a while to get used to new people. It's fine. I really didn't notice. What were you saying? Right, um... It's just that there are specific writing habits that are usually typical of new writers. And having been through that myself, I kind of learned to pick up on them. I think the most noticeable thing I recognize in the new writers is that they try to make their style very deliberate. In other words, they tend to pick up a writing style pick a writing style separate from topic matter and they form fit it fit the two together the end result is both the style and the expressiveness are weakened once Yuri finds her train of thought as if her demeanor totally changes her stammering is completely gone and she sounds like an expert of course that's not something you can be blamed for there are so many different skills and techniques that go into writing even a simple poem not just finding them and building them, but getting them to work together is probably the most challenging part. It might take you some time, but it all comes with practice, and learning by example, and trying new things. I also hope that everyone else in the club gives you valuable feedback. Natsuki can be a little bit biased though. Biased? How? Um, well, never mind. I shouldn't be talking about other people like that. Sorry. It's fine. I'm not sure if Yuri's apologizing to herself, to me, or to Natsuki. 
Do you mind if I read your poem now? Please do. I'd love to share my thought process behind it. Yuri smiles dreamingly as if it's a rare opportunity for her. Which itself is kind of funny. After all, isn't this supposed to be a literature club? Yeah, probably. Ghost under the light, the tendrils of my hair illuminate beneath the amber glow, bathing. It must be this one, the last remaining street, street light to have withstood the rest of time. The last yet to be replaced by the sickening blue-green hue of the future. I bathe, calm, breathing air of the present but living in the past. The light thickens. I flicker back. It's really hard for me to read cursive, so <laughs> I'm pretty happy that I could get through that. I'm sorry, I have such terrible hand. Bullshit! <laughs> what? I wasn't thinking that at all. But it took you a long time to read. Ah, uh, well I just don't read script very often. I actually think your handwriting is pretty. Eh? That's a relief. Also, I like the poem. Even though it's short, it was really descriptive. It wasn't too short? I usually write longer poems. Not at all. I'm really glad you like it. I'll be honest. Since it's our first time sharing, I wanted to write something a little more mild. Something easy to digest, I suppose. You saying I'm dumb? Are you into ghost theory? <laughs> Actually, the story isn't about a ghost at all, Grant. Really? I must have totally missed the point. Well, I suppose you did only glance over it after all. But remember that poets often express their own thoughts, feelings, and experiences in their work. They usually do more than tell a simple story or paint a picture. In this case, perhaps the subject of the poem is only being symbolically compared to a ghost. Lingering in her last remaining piece place of comfort, unable to let go of the past, and soon to be left with nothing. That's a lot more solemn putting it that way. I hadn't even thought of that. That's impressive. It's nothing really. Well, it makes me happy that you think that. Just remember that it won't be long before you pick up on these things, too. Yeah, maybe you're right. I guess I'll have to keep trying. I'm counting on you. Who should I show my poem to next? Ah, uh, let's do Sayori or Monica. Ah, uh, we know Sayori well, so let's go with Monica. Hi, Grant. Having a good time so far? Uh, yeah. Good, glad to hear it. By the way, since you're new and everything, if you ever have any suggestions for the club, like new activities or things we can do better, I'm always listening. Don't be afraid to bring things up, okay? Alright, I'll keep that in mind. Of course I'll be afraid to bring things up. I'm much better off going with the flow until I'm more settled in. Anyway... Want to share your poem with me? It's kind of embarrassing, but I guess I have to. <laughs> Don't worry, Grant. We're all a little embarrassed today, you know? But it's that sort of barrier that we'll need to learn to get past soon. Yeah, that's true. I hand Monica my poem. Mm-hmm. I like this one. It makes me think of something Sayori would like. Is that so? You and Sayori are really good friends, right? I wouldn't be surprised if you had those sorts of things in common. Ah, well, we may be good friends, but Sori and I are actually really different. Hmm. Well, that may be the case. But maybe there are also some similarities that you wouldn't expect. By the way, she talks about you. It sounds like the two of you really care about each other, each other's wills being... Even if you show it in different ways, it ends up being more similar than you'd think. So I think that's the kind of vibe I get when reading your poem. Hmm. You sure you're not reading into it too much? <laughs> it could be. Oh gosh, I sound like Yuri. But in any case, Suri's writing has kind of gentle feel to it. I can, I can tell that she likes his form with emotions, like happiness and sadness. Who knew that someone so happy would enjoy sad things too? 
Yeah, that's totally unexpected. Well, to each their own. And you shouldn't be afraid of to experiment a little bit either. I'm sure I'll end up trying different things a lot. It could take a while before I feel comfortable doing this. That's okay. I'd love to see you try new things. That's the best way to find the kind of style that suits you. Everyone else might be a bit biased toward their own kinds of styles, but I'll always help you find what suits you the most. So don't force yourself to write the way everyone else wants you to write. It's not like you have to worry about impressing them or anything. <laughs> anyway, do you want to read my poem now? Don't worry, I'm not very good. You sound pretty confident for someone who claims to not be very good. Well, that's just because I have to sound confident. That doesn't mean I always feel that way, you know. I see. Well, let's read it then. Hole in the wall. It couldn't... It couldn't have been me. See the direction the sparkle protrudes? A noisy neighbor? An angry boyfriend? I'll never know. I wasn't home. I peer inside for a clue. No, I can't see. I reel, blind, like a film left out in the sun. But it's too late. My retinas, already scorched with the permanent copy of meaningless image. It's just a little hole. It wasn't too bright. It was too deep, stretching forever into everything. A hole of infinite choices. Real, I realized now that I wasn't looking in, I was looking out, and he on the other side was looking in. What the hell does this mean? <laughs> Am I too dumb? So, what do you think? Hmm, that's very... Free fuck. <laughs> Sorry, I'm not really the right person to ask for feedback. <laughs> that's okay. Yeah, that kind of style has gotten pretty popular nowadays. That is, a lot of poets have been putting in fists on the timing between words and lines. When performed out, performed out loud, it could be really powerful. What was the inspiration behind this one? Ah, uh, well, I'm not sure if I know how to put it. I guess you could say I had some kind of effeny recently. Oh, epiphany. I'm fucking stupid. <laughs> I'm too dumb to be in the literature club. I'm sorry. <laughs> it's been influencing my poems a bit. An epiphany? Yeah, something like that. I'm kind of nervous to talk about deep stuff like that because it's kind of coming on, coming on strongly. Maybe after everyone is better friends with each other. Anyway, here's Monica's writing tip of the day. Sometimes when you're writing a poem or a story, your brain gets too fixated on a specific point. If you try so hard to make it perfect, then you'll never make any progress. Just force yourself to get something down on the paper and tidying it up later. Another way to think about it is this. If you keep your pen in the same spot for too long, you'll just get a dark puddle of ink. So just move your hand and go with the flow. That's my advice for today. Thanks for listening. Okay, so Sayori is the very last person that we can uh, show our poem to. Oh my goodness. This is so good, Grant. Uh, I love it. I had no idea you were such a good writer. Sayori... You must be seriously overreacting. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna end this episode here, guys. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, make sure to hit that like button down below to show me that you did. As always, also, if you haven't, go ahead and hit the subscribe uh, button and the notification bell. You don't miss out on any new content from the channel. And I'll see you guys later.